September 18th. This is Mischief. Yeah. And her brood of country mischief pups. Getting pretty close to four weeks now. Learning about water. Kind of running out of Chi Chi. The Chi Chi's getting tired. Got one. Try to get you some better looks at these colors. That's a strong brindle. Got a lot of muddy brindles. Not too many real sort of tigery brindles, but some. I think this is a male. Right here's one male, and I believe this is the other male. Yep. Only two males. Eight females. Big on bitches. Deep in bitches. Rich in bitches. And what better thing to be rich in? What do you think, Mischief? What do you think? Yeah. You're a good mama. This is a nice pen. They can't really appreciate it yet. There's uh, a little creek that runs through the bottom. and Soon they'll be all over this place. But they're just starting to get around. <clears throat> These pups are 50% South African Borbul. 25% Turkish Congal. 12.5% Argentine Dogo. 12.5% Great Dane. Country's not here today, although I probably should have got him in here. Next time. Most of you, anybody that follows the program knows country, but uh, these guys will be ready to go in about a month, so late October um, is when they will start leaving. <laughs> Are you standing over that hole on purpose? Is that strategic? They can't quite reach your titties that way. Smart girl. That, that's a really smart dog. I'm going to say that was conscious, but it probably wasn't. <clears throat> Anthropomorphizing is what they call it when you attribute human qualities to dogs, such as that kind of intelligence or empathy or any number of qualities that we project onto what is really a fairly simple beast. Anyway, I got to get busy. These days are getting short. This is kind of our our last chance to get things done before the rain set in September, October. So, yeah, she's still letting them nurse. Look at that. You still letting them nurse? Why don't you come see me? Mischief is my favorite female now. She used to have to compete with her mom. But if ever there was a female I would travel with, it would be her. She is tough and smart and biddable and loyal and ladylike. Yes, you are a classy girl. Very classy. Regal. There's a regal quality about her. You want to be my keeper? Yeah, you want to be my keeper? You have a head start. That water or blood? That's blood. Who bit you in the head? Must have been mama. Must have been mama. Why'd you bite her? Let's have a look at your head. Yeah, you got a bump on the head. Maybe you're lumpy too. Maybe you're going to be the female lumpy. There's nothing out here that could do that to her except her. So... She must have had to make a point. You should have took a hint, little puppy. This is a spirited bunch. There's a lot of little alerters and growlers and barkers. Uh, we'll see. Bit bit early to start talking about temperament at all. Except that's an omen. You got bit in the head. 
I'm going to keep this short. Olympic dogs. For those of you who just stumbled here from cyberspace, which apparently is an increasing phenomenon, www.olympicdogs.net is the website where you can get all sorts of jibber jabber about why we do what we do and so forth. Um, I think you'll find it probably lower in bullshit than just about any website you can find. There's a, Every now and then I stick my head up and start looking around for new DNA and I start reading other people's websites. And, oh my God, what a bunch of bullshit. And their videos, you really get the swords clashing and the wing wow, special effects on the videos and the... What well, they got this this documentary people with their drone flyovers and holy crap, what a bunch of bullshit. People must go in for that though. So uh if if you're wanting a bunch of superlatives and empty marketing, avoid my website. You won't you won't know what to think. But if you want uh, something a little closer to reality, check it out. OlympicDogs.net